How many songs can you write about heartbreak? How to go on when you're fed up with mistakes? Maybe I just found the answers. Maybe I just found the answers in you. Got you. We don't have to stay. We can do what we want to. Just give a little bit of your heart. Give a little bit of your heart to me. All the scars start to heal when I'm with you, and I can't explain how I feel when I'm with you. Just give a little bit of your heart. Give a little bit of your heart to me. Okay, if I got you, we don't have to stay. We can do what we want to. Baby, I just found the answers. Baby, I just found the answers. Does it take to be happy? How many times do you have to feel lonely before you get the chance to meet someone? Before you get to meet someone like you? How many songs can you write about heartbreak? How to go on when you're fed up with mistakes? Maybe I just found the answers. Maybe I just found the answers. Hello, it's Jilly, and I am hopefully just doing a quick video for you of a back to basic flipping a cup just with some paints that I have left. And I thought it'd be nice to do a cup, just a basic cup pour um, on this little canvas I have. So here goes, people. Here goes. Radio. I have some of the lovely purple left, and this has got. A fair bit of the um, what's it called? Oh, the the the, the iridescent, iridescent medium in it that makes it sparkling. So, good squirt of that in there, and then I will go to colour that I have left here, which is a pale lilac. So it's going to be a lilac and purpley lovers pour, I guess. Um, I'm going to go to the uh, ultraviolet, which is um, a metallic, so it, that's got lots of sparkle in it. And then I do feel I need to add a dark, oh, I suppose I can go back to the purple, darker colour to make it pop. And I guess a bit of white would help. So, what other colour do I have here? Okay, I'm going to really 
throw this in the mix, which is the orange, and I'm oh, not sure if I should have done that because sometimes that can send it muddy looking. But anyway, I might just leave it at that bit. So just layering those colors. Again, go back to the Hope you guys are having a good week and if you're going to paint this week then go back and have a, a good old go at your um, old basic flip cup pour. I'm going to add some bright red to this. Reds with the purple always look nice too. And then I will go, go for gold. Well, this is my champagne gold, which is, um, it's a custom, it's 50% metallic gold 50% silver makes this lovely lovely champagne gold and it kind of does permeate through the paint when you put metallics and make the overall finished piece nice and sheeny shiny so um, we're gonna keep it at that and work my way back so I use up these paints back to the ultraviolet and um, A little bit of the dark one again. I might give it a good squirt of my cool red. Finish it off with that. Go back to the purple. And then a nice squirt of the uh, my champagne gold. That looks delicious, deliciosa. Rightio. So, back to basics. Got a hair in there, got a hair in there. And I'm gonna give it a flip. So, if you're not proficient or you're worried about flipping it that it's gonna go everywhere, then you can do it an easier way. Is put your canvas on top and turn it over but I always prefer to, you know, once you've got used to it, giving it a flip, flip of the wrist, you can just that. Oh my goodness, those colors already. Look at those coming out there. What I might do with the little bit that I have left of the um, pale lilac, I'll just put over my corners so I don't have to worry too much about making the paint stretch over the corners when I come to tilt it out and I needed to use these paints because they're going a bit chunky looking. Oh, look at these colors. They are so delicious colors together. They're beautiful, really nice. So just scoot that over the edges. Pretty sure that I'll have enough paint that'll push this out of sight but um, it'll give that other paint something to roll over nicely I believe so righty-o use up every last drop and wow look at those already coming out there so I'll just burp it out or wow. and I put the lip through it because then it will add some movement through the whole piece. Wow, wow, wow. Look at those colours. Super gorgeous. If you're a beginner and you do your flip cups, they're, you know, they sort of give you a bit of encouragement that they, if they your paint consistency is correct and you've used you know um, whatever you're using as your pouring medium or you've used the same as me then you should get you know really good results i'm not going to go right over the corners just yet till i make sure i've got the paint all over the canvas but look at those gorgeous gorgeous colors absolutely gorgeous Now I'll take it over the corners, just taking it really nice and slow. Remember, it's not, no hurry, it's not a race. 
and you definitely don't have to do it quickly just take it nice and easy it's nice and slow those colors are just beautiful it's a nice little gift to give or if somebody wants to buy your work and they just want to buy a small piece then that's ideal go down to the next corner beautiful I love 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 these colors as you know I love the bright colors but these well, they are bright but they are definitely gorgeous radio keep keep the tilt going now just that last corner but you've got to remember to when you finish tilting is recenter your paint back so you haven't left the paint all at one end because that's when you can have then a likelihood of the paint cracking if it's all thick in one place and not the next so it's all down that end at the minute so i'll just tilt it back now it's kind of gone really pearly looking i've got lots of sort of pearl pearl cloud looking cells in that will have to bring you down that is gorgeous see only that tiny bit of orange and it's really permeate permeate per, perme what you call it all the way through um, so I'm glad I didn't put any more than that in there um, I'm gonna give it a, a little um, whiz over with my heat wand now burst the air bubbles in there corners and make sure you've got paint over your very edges which you should have if you just did that little procedure that I did pushing it out to the edges absolutely gorgeous cells are popping up and there's a bit fair bit of lace in there it's gorgeous I'm going to bring you down to have a look at this one it's very lovely wow look at this just shimmering it is gorgeous or just for the purpley lilac lovers out there certainly got sort of a cloudy effect in the cells there yeah really different i guess look at that wow wow wow, wow. sparkling all the way through so when this has a hit of resin on it or even your gloss varnish it will really lift the colors back out sparkle look at that effect in there and see so much in your artwork and they look like gems hidden gems that sparkle in there oh well my lovelies that was a nice back to basics getting um using up some paints that i have sitting there and a few other things other colors but yeah i hope you like that please take care and join me for tomorrow please join me for tomorrow that doesn't sound right does it Join me tomorrow, my lovelies, or whenever you can. <laughs> All right, bye for now. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down? When it's gray outside It really makes me wonder Yeah, it makes me wonder It really makes me wonder Ooh, I wonder How come the trees get undressed when it's cold? Until winter comes, until winter comes, until winter comes. It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. Oh, I wonder.
us where we are. It really makes me wonder. Sometimes hides behind the clouds 